In this video, I'll walk you through the process of setting up a Facebook social login application to generate app IDs and secret keys for a WordPress site. For this demonstration, I'll be using one of the most popular social login plugins on WordPress to complete the setup and confirmation process. To get started, it's important that you are logged into a Facebook account with the browser on which you wish to create the app ID and secret keys. For those already logged in, let's head to the URL developers.facebook.com. If you are unfamiliar with this screen, then chances are you've yet to create a developer's account on the platform. Creating one is as easy as clicking on the Get Started Navigation link and following the prompts you see on screen to provide information you want associated with the said account. For those who already have a developer account, all you have to do from here is select My Apps from the navigation links. Now, let's click on either one of the Create App buttons to redirect us to this page. Taking a closer look at the options we are presented with, while it may seem ideal to go with the first option, I would only recommend you choose this if you are looking to get a more streamlined experience with setting up the Facebook login for users on a mobile app or game. So, with that said, the third option to explore other products and data permissions would be the most appropriate choice for a website. On this page, let's choose Consumer as our desired app type. Next, we'd be required to choose a name and contact email address we want associated with the app. The third option is optional, so I'll skip that and move on to creating the app, which should bring us to the developer's account console. Now let's select Facebook login from the list of products by clicking the Setup button. Choose the platform that best suits what you are creating this for. Insert your site's URL into this field, and lastly, click on Save. And that's all we need to do for this page, as these tabs underneath are best suited for more advanced uses. Either way, let's save the site's URL again and navigate our way to the left while expanding the App Settings option and selecting Basic. On this page, we should be able to find the app's ID and secret keys, and because they are still under development, it simply won't work until we've toggled the app mode live. To activate this, we need to fill out the app's domain field, privacy policy, terms of service, and user data deletion instruction URL. So let's start with filling out the site's domain, followed by its privacy policy URL. Keep in mind that these URLs need to be valid and accessible on your site to avoid configuration errors. So, I recommend you head back to your site if you don't have these yet to create the corresponding pages before continuing with the setup process. Also, I noticed including a forward slash at the end of each URL helps for a seamless configuration process. Meta requires that we fill out a URL users can access to request data deletion on your site. This could be an instructional page like this one, for example, or perhaps you may want to outline the information on your privacy policy page. Insert the URL into this page, choose your site's industry category, and then click on Save Changes at the lower right corner of your screen. Once the page reloads, we can then proceed to toggle this to go live. Now, in some cases, depending on the tool you might be using, the steps we just took are enough to reveal the app's secret keys and proceed with using them. However, some tools or plugins require some extra steps depending on its nature of operation, which are usually outlined within their documentation. In my case, when I copied these keys and pasted them into their corresponding fields and tried to verify the plugin's configurations, I usually get this incomplete configuration message. It was not until I switched to the Get Started Instruction tab that I found this instructional guide outlining that I should add the following URL to the valid OAuth redirect URLs field. So where exactly can we find this field within the developer's account? Heading back, Let's expand the Facebook login option and select Settings. Note that these settings by default should do the job in most cases unless the tool you are using requests otherwise. Focusing on the tool at hand, it's requested that we add this URL to the valid OAuth redirect URLs field. And just before we save this, I find it's best practice, regardless of the tool you might be using, to also enable login with the JavaScript SDK. Then insert your site's URL into this field and lastly, click on Save Changes. Now, when I head back to verify the configuration settings, we should have a successful integration. Heading back to the developer account, some tools may also require you to request advanced access to some of these features. And as I mentioned, you can always refer to the tool's documentation for a proper guide, as this varies largely on the tool you are using to enable the Facebook social login. 
I believe that covers all you need to know about setting up a Facebook social login app for your website. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next one.